our health alert tonight, e-cigarettes have become quite popular with sales booming right here in the U.S. And when it comes to our health, they're also boosting the risk of heart attacks. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now with a closer look at the risk factor. Doc. And Glenda, I know that there are a lot of folks out there that use e-cigarettes because they think it's cool or trendy, while others see it as a way to quit smoking. But really, how safe are these products? Well, I can tell you that when researchers looked at data that compared non-smokers to smokers, they found some frightening numbers, and here they are. The folks who smoked e-cigarettes on a daily basis had, guess what, a nearly double the odds of a heart attack. And th for those who used both traditional cigarettes along with these cigarettes, the risk was much higher. They had nearly a five-fold increase when it came to a heart attack. So big time risks. Yeah, Doc, I know a lot of people have actually switched going to e-cigs from smoking regular cigarettes. How can these e-cigarettes actually damage the heart? Well, Alan, just like traditional cigarettes, e-cigarettes also contain what? Nicotine. And the research shows that nicotine can only not only raise your blood pressure, but also your heart rate but it can also increase cholesterol plaque buildup inside the arteries, and this can clog blood flow that goes from, to and from your organs. Also, e-cigarettes release ultra-fine particles along with other toxins, which can not only damage blood vessels, but can also help cause blood clotting, and these can all lead to heart disease and heart attacks. So again, big, big problems. So, Dr. Nandy, can e-cigarettes help people stop smoking? If, if you make the switch, is there success there? There's a lot of uh, patients ask me this, but they, Glenda, they have not been approved by the FDA as an aid to quit smoking. In fact, the CDC study found that many adults who are trying e-cigarettes as a way to kick their smoking habit end up using both products. So, if you'd like to quit, I'd say just talk to your doctor to develop a plan that includes ways to manage your cravings. That could save your life. Yeah, absolutely. Some great advice for sure. All right, Doc, thank you. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nanny at AskDrNanny.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to tune in this Saturday at 1 p.m. for an all-new episode of the Dr. Nanny Show. This week, he'll be talking about brain-generated pain and how you can overcome that.